In this tutorial, we're going to review setting up our lights for our BattleBot animation props. In this case, I'm going to be using the planet Saturn. Uh, this workflow would apply to the other planet, which might be the moon, as well as your character. I'm going to start by introducing a spotlight. And I'll hit four on the keyboard so that I can pull it out of the middle of Saturn. I'm going to move it out a bit so I can point this at an angle. And once I've got the cone or the source where I might want it to be, I'll hit T on the keyboard and it will give me a, an icon with which to point this wherever I want. So I'm just going to separate this out. Now I want to point the planet. And because my planet's located in the middle of the viewport, I can hold down X. And on the target area, which is just comprised of the vertices, I can drag and snap that to the center of my viewport. I'll get the attributes by clicking on the channel box or hitting Control A. I'll make the intensity about 50 to start. I'll make the penumbra angle 10. And then I'm going to go down to where it says Arnold. I'll open up the Arnold tab. And under exposure, I'm going to start with 3.5. Now once I've saved, I'll open up the Arnold render view. And to preview what I have, I'll click on the red triangle in the upper right hand corner of the Arnold render view. Now I'm barely seeing my planet, so I'm going to return to the attributes of the light and I'll bump up the intensity considerably. So maybe I'll start out with a thousand. Now, the lighting that you'll need is contingent upon the values of your texture. So if the values of your texture are darker, you'll need more light, obviously. Uh, I've got it set for about a thousand. It's not quite what I want, but I'm going to now increase the angle so more of the debris field is showing as well and once I've got that I'll return to my lights and I'll add yet some more light from that spotlight so maybe I'll make it 1600 and I'm going to go with that because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add one more light that will be coming from the bottom of this right now because the light source is limited from one angle. I'd like to see more of that planet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that light by hitting Command D. And then I'll drag that duplicate light down so it's shining below the planet bit. Now I'm going to eliminate the shadow from the light that is coming underneath the planet. I'll select it, go to the Attribute Editor, and in the Attribute Editor under Shadows, I'll drag the slider all the way to the right to eliminate that shadow. Now I'm not going to worry about the color of the light. All this can be dealt with in After Effects. 